Hello again, welcome to the episode. Back again with the Rolly Magic. Field Day with Rolly Magic videos. For this one, I have a thing called a 16 on kit. And what this allows you to do is to shoot 16 exposures on a 120 film instead of the normal 12. It makes a slightly smaller image. Um, 35mm slides are very popular. And there's a thing called super slide, which is four centimeters by four centimeters. That's forty by forty, which this can also shoot. Uh, it's not really a six four five format. It's slightly less than that. It's more like five point five by four point five. So I thought today, I've not tried this. I'm going to fit this. I'll put some film in there and uh, see what it looks like and how it works. Okay, three different masks. It's this sort of mask, this sort of mask, and finally this part here as well. So the way that these fit is you have to open up your back in a normal way. That's what I prepared earlier. Right, this part is the mask that goes in the back of the camera. And you put that end to the bottom, push it down. And click into place. If I've got it the wrong way around. Stay for some reason. Uh, I don't know why I've had this in before. There we go. It goes in there, it goes down there. And it should. Sort of sprung loaded. That's better. So there it is with the mask in place. The neat feature about this is that you can see on the exposure counter now it shows 16 and we're on number zero. So it changes the, um, the amount that it cranks. And we're still going to put a film in. I've got a roll of HP5 here. I don't normally put sellotape in, that's me doing that. Okay, you should know the routine by now. Put your film down here, with the black facing out. There should be a spool for the top. goes into the groove that's in the spool and goes clockwise and then that sits in the top area push on that that goes down here and locks and there we go and wind this around and this is a start arrow. If you remember, we line that up with the red dots. So you can see it's lined up with the red dots. And then we can close the back up. Make sure that that's closing up. That's light tight. Find the crank. Stopped. So you can see now it's showing we've got 16 exposures and we're on the first one. 
and the shutter will be cocked. You have to return this, you just did that. What are the other two bits for? The other two bits are for the finder. So, on these, there's a black catch on that side and a black catch on that side. If you push them down, you can remove the waste level finder. And there you can see a bit of the part of the screen for focusing. If you put your fingers on the side here, pull this back gently, this lifts up and exposes the focusing screen. We don't want to damage that. They're expensive and difficult to get hold of. And in there you can see the mirror that reflects up from the lens. It's rather dusty. In another episode we'll show you how to clean your camera. And you can see the, the catches on each side. So we take the mask, and that's this very thin mask. I don't remember which way around it goes. But that sits in there. I don't remember which way around it goes, I think it goes around that way, actually. And then, our screen goes back on the top, very gently. This folds back over. And that should lock down. And I found this to be quite a tricky operation, this part. It's not something that you can do quickly, but obviously the whole film is going to be 16 exposures. So. so you can see there's two little catches here that go into these holes, corresponding holes at the other end. You can see it doesn't want to go in particularly well. I think that's got it. You can see that that pushes up into there, but I'm not very happy about the edge at that edge. It should be flat, it shouldn't be raised up like that. See it's fairly flat along here and across there. And then obviously you can then put the waist level finder back on. This final part attaches to the sports finder. So where the little thumb bit is down the bottom here, you can push it underneath. This has got a lip in it, so it goes underneath. You just line it up with these two press things here. And that just goes onto there. And obviously that makes the hole smaller. So if you want to use a sports finder with this new format, uh, you can. I'll leave that on there. But for this one, I'm going to be using this finder, which is quite a large piece of glass. And uh, it's not that heavy to be fair. And this slides on. And that locks on so it's quite secure. So obviously that makes it more like a single lens reflex. You see the image exactly as your eyes do in that it's the right way up and it's the right way around. So that's an eye level finder for the rollies. I only just recently got that so I'm quite keen to try it out because I struggle with a waist level finder if I'm honest. I like the weight of a waist level finder compared to a prism. There's no metering in the prism, obviously the metering's in the camera. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's different isn't it? So we'll give that a try. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.